back channel. So today we got the 94 Z28 up here in the shop. Uh, recently we put the torque head 24X kit on this car and we've been having trouble ever since. Uh, this car has been fighting us every step of the way. Uh, first thing that went wrong was the crank sensor went bad. I, I think that was our fault. But anyway we got that replaced and then we couldn't it wouldn't idle on its own, so I had to make a few changes and get it idling. But after that, it uh, just running way, way too rich. And I went down to his shop a couple times now and had the wide band set up to, so we could read it. But every time I put it in this car, it wouldn't, it wouldn't register on HP tuners. And I, I tried twice, so I, we, he brought it up here. He's going to leave it here for a week. And I finally did get it, uh, I finally did get the wide band working, and I've already done some tuning on it. We've uh, leaned it out a, a pretty good amount. I still got a, a long ways to go, but anyway, I'm just going to show you a few things on uh, what we had to do to get this thing uh, running properly. Okay, guys, when you got to do a full tune on a car, now mind you, this one here doesn't have a cam, so we don't really have to do any uh, idle tuning. But there's lots of videos online that show you how to do that. Anyway, what you got to have. Okay, this, this here is the original tune. And this here is the tune so far. What I, uh, It's not fully done. I haven't done no wide open throttle tuning because I'd sooner have Dean driving the car with me running the laptop so I can see what's going on. Uh, I don't want to do any damage to the car, so... Uh, I'll let him do the driving for the full throttle tuning, but I've got it tuned up to probably about 3,500 RPM. I get everything straightened out. But anyway, what you got to do, you got to do volumetric efficiency tuning, which most people refer to as uh, speed density tuning. So I got it right here. So basically what I, what I got is I got two copies of this tune here, one for math tuning and one for speed density tuning. Now, these are identical except uh, in the math tuning, you basically uh, ignore the readings from the factory O2 sensors and you uh, ignore the, the speed density table. It, it does all the fuel calculations based on the math, on the mass airflow sensor. Okay, and then this one, the speed density tuning, it's just the opposite. It, uh, it, it, it also ignores the, the factory O2 sensors, but it also ignores the mass airflow sensor. And it just uh, calculate, calculates the fuel based on uh, the speed density table. And another difference between these two was I pulled uh, about three degrees timing across the board on both of them. That just helps you stay safe. Normally, uh, like on my car, I pulled five, but uh, the tune that come with this, uh, the torque head was, the timing's uh, fairly low on it, so I just pulled three degrees out and probably didn't have to pull any. But anyway, the speed density tuning is the one that most people recommend, provided you, if, if you have put a cam in, you'll probably have to do the idle tuning first. But this here doesn't have a cam. All we did, the only change we made was uh, added the the new computer and the the 24x torque head kit. And the the tune he sent was way off. It's it's uh, I think he does it just to be safe. Like it's a real safe tune, mind you. It's quite rich. If you run it for very long, I think you would uh, you might have issues. But anyways. Uh, if you don't have have to worry about idle tuning, which we don't, let's get a stock cam. You start the SD tuning, try to get the, the speed density table dialed in as best you can. I've got it about halfway. Like I said, I want Dean to drive to, to do the full throttle tuning. Then once you do that, this here takes the longest. I've already just doing, like I said, I only done about half and I'm, uh, I've used half a tank of fuel. And then you do the math tuning, which is a lot quicker. I did that yesterday. Again, I still got to do more uh, for the wide open part of it. But as far as drivability goes, the car drives really good now. Whereas it was, it run fairly bad. It didn't run that well with the, the tune that they sent with the kit. Uh, 
And also, HP tuners doesn't come with uh, all set up to do this stuff. You have to you have to set these tunes up, and then you have to set up a histogram in the in the scanner. So I'm going to put two links in the description from Goat Rope Garage, and he shows you how to set these up. I could go ahead and show you, but he's already got videos up for it, and he's a lot better tuner than I am. Okay, guys, so we're back at Dean's Garage. Uh, I found out the issue with uh, I was having with tuning is a mass air meter. It's pretty well screwed. I don't know if they show up on camera or not, but the little sensors, the little heating elements are blue. So she burned herself up, I would say. Anyway, put uh, a new mass air meter on it, and it, it's actually tuning pretty good there now. So uh, we'll get back in the car here in a minute, and I'll show you what we're doing. Okay, guys, so we got the new mass air flow sensor in. We've already done some tuning. Dean's going to give me a drive home because I drove his car down here. And so the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to put in my updated mass airflow tune because we're going to do a little more tuning on it. And I, I raised the shift limit up to 5400. We'll probably end up at 56 or 57 by the time we're done, but I just want to take baby steps. So math tuning. So we're going to flash this in. Okay, Dean, you can turn the key on. What we're going to do is we're going to drive a little ways and get some more info on this uh, mass air meter and then we'll stop and I'll uh, probably put in the SD, the speed density tune and we'll do a little more tuning on that and then maybe we'll stop again and we'll put the whole thing together and see what we got. But we definitely won't get it all tuned today but it's, it's definitely working pretty good now. But we'll probably be running quarter miles to do the final tune on it. Start her up, Dean. I'll just plugged in the wide band. I'm gonna open up the scanner. I got it set for the mass air meter so we'll connect but we're not going to start recording until the to the mass air meter uh, kicks in it takes a while to heat up okay now it's, it's kicking in now it's pretty lean at the moment Hit record and th the thing about this car when it comes to the idle I don't understand last time it was a little rich and now it's a little bit lean so but I'm just gonna I'll probably just ignore this down here it's when the car is actually under load that's what's the most important as far as what's going on here I have no idea why it's doing this anyway let's roll her okay I'm gonna get Dean to kick her down here shove her down some of the cells up further here come to a stop and we're going to go through first and second you're probably going to have to ease in with her it'll be spinning and if you want to wait for them cars we can wait for them as long as there's nothing coming behind us oh it's just that truck so. okay well you can hit her whenever you want Okay, so we, we filled in quite a few cells here this time on the mass air meter and she's looks pretty good. It's, it's just a little bit rich. So I'm going to copy them. Copy. I'm open up our editor. Open up our map tune. Want 
pop them over onto this, but we're only going to pay special, multiply by half. And we're going to save that. Now we're going to do some speed density tuning. We're just going to give her one more. We're going to do the same thing we did with mass air. We're going to go through first and second. So I'm going to load up the SD tune. And after we do that, we're going to copy them all into the main tune. And we're going to, I'm also going to get Dean to let me know whether he thinks 5400 is high enough or if he wants to go a couple hundred more. Anyway, let's turn the key on. We'll flash this in. Okay, so we get the speed density tune in there now. And like I say, we're going to go uh, through first and second. Okay, you can start it up. Open up the scanner. Again, you don't want to start recording until the wideband comes online. Nice okay, so we're going to try her one more time, this time on speed density. Okay. Okay, guys, so I took what information we had and I put it into the the main tune for the car we're just gonna flash that in it's not fully tuned but it's tuned well enough to drive around but far as getting the best quarter mile times out of it we're gonna to have to do more tuning but uh, Dean's got to get home here so and anyway, we're gonna flash this in okay you can turn the key on Okay, so we got the all flashed in. Now we're gonna, he's gonna drive me home. Well, I'm just gonna keep an eye on it, see what it's doing. Okay, anyway, guys, we got her dialed in. It's not 100%, but we'll be doing a lot more tuning on the car. But uh, I got it dialed in for him so he can drive it. It drives good. We drove it uh, oh, probably about 40 minutes here just now, and it, it ran fine. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.